Welcome back. Fascinating development late yesterday afternoon on Bristol Myers' continued plans to acquire uh, Celgene in one of the largest, most important deals we've seen thus far this year. Wellington Management, uh, a typically quiet and giant, healthcare focused uh, money management firm, chose to do something unexpected. Uh, which has put out a press release in which it essentially says we're not in favor uh, of Bristol Myers' plans to acquire Celgene, uh, coming out in a number of uh, different paragraphs and saying essentially, hey, uh, we don't think uh, that this makes sense. We own, or at least we uh, have investment discretion, they say, for clients with respect to approximately 8% of the company. It's 7.7% to be exact. Uh, and we're the largest institutional holder of Common. Uh, and we don't think that the deal as currently uh, constructed makes sense. Uh, we believe that Bristol's share price is being undervalued, they say, for, uh, for the deal itself, and that there are other ways to create value, and I'm paraphrasing here for the company. Um, it's fascinating in a number of ways. First of all, it's going to expand the spread here, of course, between what Bristol Myers is paying for Celgene and where Celgene is trading on the belief that the April 12th vote has now put, been put into more jeopardy. No doubt that is a possible, that is a, at least a stronger chance that there will be enough no votes that the deal won't happen. Is it likely? No, but it certainly seems to be uh, uh, have increased the, the possibility. ISS, the important shareholder advisory firm that weighs in and advises uh, all shareholders, including, of course, large index funds, going to play a more, even a more important role for that April 12th uh, vote. We also think, although I have never confirmed this, that Dodge and Cox is opposed, a large holder. Uh, we know Starboard had been out there, but they really didn't own any stock, though they did nominate for the board. But that's really a secondary story. It's all about the vote coming up. Um, and Wellington apparently has indicated, and they have not returned calls and not wanted to discuss beyond their press release with me their thoughts, but Wellington, I am told, has indicated they may begin to do this more often, put letters out there, come out publicly, which is a very uh, big change for a company like that. Now, specific to the numbers themselves, it's important to note that while Wellington does have 7.7 percent dispositive power, they actually only have voting power over about 28 million of the 126 million shares. Many of the rest of it seems to be, uh, from what I can tell based on my reporting, um, shares they advise on for Vanguard. So Vanguard has funds where Wellington is the advisory company, but Vanguard very well may have the voting power on those, Jim. Um, the other point here is that Wellington may not own any cell gene. If you own cell gene, you want to vote in favor of this deal if you also own Bristol Myers. Not if you're playing it as a risk guard, but if you own both, because cell gene would go down a lot more were the deal to break than Bristol Myers would go up. There is a belief, however, and again, I didn't get an answer to this from Wellington because they won't take any questions. That, uh, that, and there's uh, somebody weighing in a cow on it. Hey, that's what it would be. If you get a deal price break, you know, you get 74 bucks in sell gene, it goes down a lot. Yeah, so if you are Wellington, you only own Bristol Myers, well, you can see why. Because you're going to trail the healthcare index if and when this deal closes right. as a result of not owning sell gene, Jim. But, but it brings to the fore again this continued concern that there will be mounting opposition to this transaction, you can see the spread is blowing out this but morning. David, you know, when I read the when I read their filing, geez, talk about not having any rigor with filing. You just pay, hey, listen, they're overpaying. I mean, look, what do they want? I mean, does, do they care that Bristol Myers? Do they care at all that Bristol Myers needs Celgene? But David, and there's, there's little, no Plan B. That's what I continue to hear. There's right. no plan there is B no here. Plan B. And, and it's not going to be a string of pearls where they buy this company no. for three and this one for four billion and five billion. No, no, there is no plan B. But David, there's an outfit called Beijing, which is B G N E, which has the uh, Chinese cell gene. That's what they have. And they came out with numbers today. Surprisingly, sales of Abraxane, Revlimid, and Vidaza in China were flat quarter over quarter. David, those are the cell gene jokes. Right. And they sell them in China. And those numbers are bad. So if you're watching this and you own cell gene, this is bad ammo. Bad ammo to have this deal closed. But David, I got series of things from Bristol Myers. They're more dead set than ever. I know you, and you are you've been a, a supporter I, well, of the deal. David, you I'm believe the deal makes about, sense. I'm very scared about Upteep. They yep. keep losing the key truth.
I also think that the five things that Celgene's put forward that can help before Revlimid loses its uh, The question patent. is, if Bristol-Myers, if they vote the deal down and Bristol-Myers remains uh, without Celgene, what happens then? Because I don't believe that there's anybody out there at this point who wants to buy Bristol-Myers. No. Based on my reporting, you never know, but I've not seen any indication of that. But look what happened to AbbVie, a very good now that's, that's Humira. But you know, some of these drug companies have really fallen on hard times, and there have been really bad stocks. And they have a very hard time recovering. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's what I fear for Bristol until they come up with something better. Well, this and is taking another problem. turn. We're going to be following it. But that was so glad that you mentioned this, because this is yeah. the talk it of is. everybody I see. We're going to be and, following oh my, it closely. How could this be? From here. Wellington? Wellington. Right? Yeah, and the idea that they may become more public in the future. I thought that was incredible. That is Larry Because typically they're courted to be your long term investor. And if they're going to come out against you, it makes even things even it more really difficult. The question is the, the stewardship. I thought it was very big. Yeah. I'm glad you brought it up.